What's going on, guys? Today I'm flying out the Tempest Mark V. This is the Vickers P model. This is the, the ground attacking uh, aircraft with the great big 47 millimeter cannons. It's got one on each wing. See, it sticks out there like a, like a great big elephant gun or something. <laughs> you can use these to uh, take out tanks or uh, AAA artillery, light pillboxes, just about anything other than uh, ships and uh, regular size pull boxes. I generally don't like to use this as a uh, as a as a fighter because the rounds tend to go right through planes. They don't they don't usually rip the wings off and and that kind of thing. And I'm on the best map for this plane in my opinion, and that's Krimsk. It's, it's usually uh, Russia versus U.S. and uh, Britain, or sometimes just one or the other. Here I've I've flown north. I've hugged the coast as long as I can. You can see all the ships to my left. They're firing a lot of AAA at me. I've just managed to clear the hill and now I'm off to uh, shoot down whatever ground targets I can. Now firing these great big 47 millimeter cannons is a little tricky. Initially the guns aren't all that accurate. They they tend to go off a little bit. So. I decided to actually put a, a talisman on this plane. When it was 50% off, the price was uh, pretty reasonable. And because it's a tier 4 plane, you can actually use this uh, to a grain jet set at a pretty good rate. And you put in the uh, talisman along with a premium account, you can do some damage here. You want to get the gun upgrades as quickly as you can. There, I finally managed to get one. That's one less artillery to to uh, go after. Now you can go after light pillboxes. You can't you can't kill regular pillboxes. They're they're just too heavy for these uh, these cannons. And you'll notice that I fly over some of these without taking a shot. It's because the guns tend to weigh down the front of this uh, airplane, and it uh it makes it makes control a little challenging. So you can't dip up and down really quickly. So I tend to prefer a long, uh, straight path towards the target. You have to remember you're not you're not flying something particularly maneuverable like a Zero or a Spitfire, a Tempest uh, Mark V with these great big 47 millimeter cannons is a little a little wonky. I should be able to hit this uh, light pill box, and I missed it. <laughs> and I missed the artillery. If you use a particular gun convergence, like 500 meters, for example, I recommend being at 500 meters from the target. That'll give you the best accuracy. It'll give you your uh, best chance of taking out the uh, target. Now, the AAA is actually a concern of mine because I've uh, I've actually been t uh, shot down while doing ground attacks over here. I'm so close, I get hits but I uh, just can't seem to kill these guys there. The shots are just a, a little bit off. Now being all the way over here at this little base, none of the uh, Russians are actually attacking me. All of the fighters are preoccupied with our fighters, so that's given me a pretty much a free run to shoot all these that I can. And that's not something you can say about most of these, the, the uh, maps. Take two shots of that and miss I actually hit on one of them, but it uh, wasn't a, a critical hit. On most maps, I find it incredibly difficult to use this plane as a ground attacker, because there's always some scrub little pilot that will give up all of his altitude just for one easy kill. And killing a, a, a Tempest... There we go. Killing a Tempest uh, with the uh, Vickers P cannons is pretty easy to, to do. It's not particularly fast or maneuverable. It doesn't have a, uh, a, a rear gunner like some uh, ground attack vehicles do. So you're, you're fairly limited in what you can actually do. And like I said earlier, uh, if even if you do aim these cannons at someone, there's a good chance that, that uh, the rounds will go right through the plane and not actually kill the guy.
still got 32 cannon rounds. You start off with like 72 or 74 or something like that. Which is actually a, a good deal of ammo. One person who is a, a fairly good shot can take out this uh, this whole little base all by himself. There, I managed to get that light pill box going after another one. Boom. I love that little shockwave that, that they added a few patches to go. On other maps, I always seem to be swarmed by Yak 3s or uh, BF 109s or Fuck Wolf 190s. It's awfully, it's awfully difficult to uh, deal with those guys with this plane. It's pretty much a, a certain death. And because dying is so, so uh, easy with this thing, I do recommend using the Talisman uh, as, a, as an option for uh, grinding upgrades or uh, using this to grind uh, other planes. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, I'm already second in the leader leaderboard and I've only got uh, 11 ground kills. That just speaks to the fact that the uh, talisman along with the premium count, you can actually uh, rack up some points. Like I said, the triple A is definitely like a concern. It's firing all over. I mean, and you can see there's some smoke coming out from my engine. It's not from weaping, it's actually because I've been taking a couple of hits to the engine. Sooner or later I'm going to have to set this thing down because the engine uh, simply gives out. And of course weaping just makes it worse. It burns out just a little bit faster, but I want to get as many of these uh, light pillboxes, or excuse me, light, uh, light targets that I can, like the AAA, the artillery, the light pillboxes. I've got less than 20 rounds left. I'm also starting to run out of targets here. AAA's getting awfully close, too. But I want to get that, so I make a, a wide turn, take another shot from the AAA. See, it's really zeroing in on me there. And of course, it doesn't help that I'm the, I'm the only plane over here, so it doesn't have to uh, focus at multiple targets. Most of the targets that I have left over here are regular pull boxes, and you need bombs in order to take care of those. The 47mm cannon just isn't strong enough to wipe those out. I don't see much left over here. You see some of my uh, fighter teammates have uh, headed over in this direction just a little bit to see uh, if uh, they can either take some uh, targets for, them, for themselves or if uh, they can find the last guy that's alive. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot left for them to do over here. Whoever is left isn't here, and uh, there really aren't very many uh, ground targets left. I'm just trying to get this uh, artillery before the other fighter swoops in and gets it. I'm trying to get as many kills as I can, obviously. There we go. Land that shot. 17 kills. If you look in the upper left, the oil and water are both getting hot. That's all because of the engine damage that I've sustained. I'm going to have to put this thing down sooner or later. I'm nowhere near an airfield, so I'm just going to have to find a, a level spot to put it down. See, I, I focus in on this pillbox just to demonstrate that you can't uh, kill that thing. I put two, or excuse me, four cannon rounds into that. You could clearly see that it didn't uh, even do a scratch. And that's when I, I noticed that there's an art or one artillery left over here. I've only got two rounds left, so I've only got uh, one, one, one uh, squeeze of the trigger left. Because it takes uh, one round from uh, each cannon. And it just missed, so that artillery is going to live. If I wouldn't have wasted those four rounds on that pillbox, I probably would have had enough ammo to take a couple of cracks at that uh, last artillery. 
the pillbox. Nothing else over here. I don't have, other than that one artillery, and there's nothing I can do about it anyway. I don't have any. I don't have any ammo. And oil's over overheated. The water's overheated. Those uh, AAA really take a toll on this on this engine. See my my engine and the damage model indicator on the left has decided to turn pink. And I'm several kilometers away from any kind of uh, runway, so I'm going to have to find a level spot and let, let this, uh, or put this plane down. And really, the, the only reason I want to do that is because I want to keep from getting a, a high repair bill. The less damage you take on, on your plane at the end of the match, the uh, lesser repair bill was going to be. Unfortunately, this place is just loaded with trees. There aren't a whole lot of uh, spaces, you know, wide open spaces where you can land this uh, thing. There are a couple of narrow little patches here to take a shot at. And the reason I, I took a look at the scoreboard there is because I want to see you know, if I could actually keep this thing above or off the ground and in the air before they can get to him. And I don't know that they, I don't know that they can. Sometimes it can take a while to catch up to a plane. This looks like as good as a spot as any to put it down. Got the wheels down, just about to touch down. Bounce, bounce, bounce. There we go. We're on the ground, applying the brake. At 100, 180 kilometers. Now there's a hill up here. That'll help me slow. It'll help slow me down. But uh, it's, it's a matter of what's on the other side of the hill. You know, if there are trees, I'm screwed. Oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> I think I broke something back there. Everything really looks to be in, uh, in good shape. I didn't like the sound of that though. It sounded like something broke in the uh, in the back half in, near near the tail. I managed to land it successfully. Unfortunately, we haven't quite won this yet. By the looks of it, there's at least one, one guy left. There's a Yak-9. Overall, my plane's in pretty good shape. The AAA that I, I took mostly did, did its damage in the uh, engine compartment. The radiator, for example, just wasn't able to keep the engine cool enough. I suspect the radiator was one of the components that was hit with that AAA. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to just cut it here and go to the end results. We're going to end up winning this match, so there's nothing really else to show you here other than me turning off the engine. And there's nothing particularly exciting about that. <laughs> Ended up in second place on the team with 17 ground kills. And you can see the uh, Talisman, along with the uh, premium account, got me... 11,000 vehicle research points towards that uh, next meteor jet. Not a bad game, actually. And here's the uh, upgrades that I have. I managed to finish the compressor upgrade. And I want to get that 47mm cannon upgrade, but I can't get there yet. I have to research the engine, or either the engine or the wing like upgrade, before I can get down to that, that last tier of upgrades. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the section below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Take care, guys.